What are the little sugary coated pills that everybody takes these days? You can get them. You know, they're not real pills, are they? Viagra? No. <laughs> We are in York, Dylan. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Are Aren't we, we on? Gary? Yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're, we're on. on. Filming everything. You came to York in 1979. When... Just before the Astro was built. <laughs> but it had <laughs> when already been London designed. is the hotbed of, of music, post-punk, clubs, there's so much going on. Why did you decide to come to York and not London? Well, I think uh, I've been up in London, you know, on and off for three years, seeing all the punk and post-punk stuff. And I was a bit bored of it by then. You were jaded. Yeah, I was jaded. I was so, so York, York jaded. The, the bright lights Actually, of York were yeah. more appealing. No, do you know what? Um, really, my parents lived in Sussex, and I wanted to get as far away from them as possible. Fair enough. So York seemed like suitably far away. I lived in a house which was like the young one's house, only a bit more decrepit. You open the door by kicking it in. <laughs> and it literally opened like that when you open the door. And my room, there were basically only four bedrooms, but there was a tiny little box room just up the stairs. Yeah. And, but it didn't have a floor because the floor had rotted away. It was so wet. When it rained, the water came down the wall and the floor had literally rotted away. Very sophisticated. And one day, George Dodd, who didn't live with us, but was a friend who used to come around, man of few words. And he, he, one Sunday morning, he disappeared up to the loo with the paper. And then there was this God almighty crash <laughs> and went up the stairs and the obscure glass was now a different color. It was now light, you could see daylight. <laughs> I, the roof had fallen in. <laughs> she goes, George, are you all right? And he goes, no, I'm fine. Anyway, he kicked the door in and he was sitting on the loo with the paper <laughs> and plaster on his head <laughs> and literally going, roof's falling in like that and carrying on. <laughs> okay, sorry. George. So was there anyone else at university who, who you found inspirational? Yes, probably my friend Brian, just after Christmas in 82, I went up to stay with Brian in Edinburgh and then mm -hmm. he said, I think you should be in a show. You're, you're funny and you should be in a show with me. Okay, so we wrote a show and then Brian got us back in to take it to uh, Edinburgh, to the festival. And that was like, I then finished university. So all good, that's something, I've got something to do to the end of August. And then a couple of BBC people came to see us and then we got a bit of writing work. And now I'm still doing it. So I guess he was pretty influential. Mm -hmm. 